Lisa Kraler has a history in journalism, both print and television, but almost 30 years ago, she and her husband started a business that perhaps you've heard of, IDW or I Do Windows LLC. But through all of that, the journalism background, the business, and a lot more, Lisa and her husband Keith have much to share about God's provision and direction. She recently wrote about it in the book, Illuminate. A well-known face here at TV44, Lisa Kraler is with me, a published author, and we are here to talk about Illuminate, different make, difference makers shining through their stories. And Lisa, you share some incredible stories in your chapter in this book. Well, you know, it was really hard because I only had 3,000 words. I need a lot more than 3,000 <laughs> words, right? We all do. And But this was a great opportunity for me to get my feet wet in publishing. And so I'm grateful to Performance Publishing in Texas for giving me the, the shot at this. But yeah, I mean, when you back, you look at your life, I look at my life, we all have a story to share. There's so much that happens in our lives. And um, that's what I wanted to do here is to share a snapshot of the things that my husband and I went through in starting our business. So she is one of 12 authors in this book right here. And we're gonna tell you how you can purchase your own in just a moment. But let's talk about your chapter because you packed a lot of information into 3,000 words. Um, God has done some incredible things in your life, in Keith's life, your husband, um, taking you from maybe the depths, really the, the pig depths, yeah. to, to bright and shiny clarity, we could yeah. say, since you moved into the window business. Well, that's why it was pretty easy for me to come up with the name of my chapter, God Makes a Way When There Seems to Be No Way, because there's been so many times in my life our lives when there, did, when there was no other way. You know, if we did not have faith in Christ, we would have given up, we would have had no hope. And I guess that's really the message in my story is that to never quit, to step out in faith, take a risk and hold on to God's hand. And so, yeah, we, of course, we met on a cruise ship. I'm not gonna tell all the details, but we met on a cruise ship and we lived on a pig farm in Minnesota and we were a million dollars in debt and, um, there's just so much that happened for God to bring us through that. Um, and then my husband started a window cleaning business in Minnesota and we came out here. Now we're in our 29th year with IDW mm. Window and Roof Cleaning. Uh, that's I Do Windows, IDW. I'm sure you've seen the, uh, the, the, the vehicles. You may have used the service. Maybe you are using the service, which is a great, great idea. But it's easy to look at that and say, oh, they're doing so great. It must have been easy. But no, it was God guiding you through all of it. Oh, yes. And anybody that started a business know it's not easy. Um, especially today, there's just so much going on in, in the world, as we all know. But back then, you know, it's funny because people will say, you know, what was your business plan when you started the business and all that? The business plan was to put food on the table. Mm. There was no business plan. He started um, becoming a window cleaner because he saw another window cleaner when he was traveling doing sales. And he's a physical, you know, he was used to be a farmer. He likes physical work and that's how he started it. But there were so many things that we learned during that time because of all of the challenges we went through that we were just trying to find our way. And I think sometimes people think they have to have everything laid out mm -hmm. and figured out ahead of time before they actually step out. And at least for us, that wasn't the way. We had to walk first and then God was illuminating our mm -hmm. path as like the book talks about. And um, so, you know, a lot of things happened over the years and now we're in our 29th year. And um, I love talking to small business groups and people or women that want, are getting into business because there's just a lot of things you learn along the way. You're not the experts, but you have gone through it. Hmm, that's what makes you become the experts really to yeah. go through the hard times, to keep going through the hard times and then find the success. Yeah, it was challenging on the, on the farm. I mean, we, like I said, we were a million dollars in debt when we got married, which, you know, when you're in love, you kind of think, oh, we'll overcome that. It'll all work out, you know, <laughs> but it was quite the challenge. And, um, you know, there was just a lot of things we went through, but it strengthened our marriage and it strengthened our faith. Mm -hmm. And in this chapter, um, I just kind of reveal a few things that occurred in our lives to try to make the statement. I'm first of all, I'm sharing our story because I think it's important for people to share what they've been through so that we can inspire and encourage other people what, for what they're going through in their lives. Um, and of course, I also had some medical issues later in life here 
that I had to fight through too. And, but the, all, the theme of it all is that with God, nothing is impossible. Mm -hmm. And that's what I really want to share is that because of Christ and who he has been in our life, we've been able to have all of these things happen. That doesn't mean you don't have any problems. We know what yeah. that's like, right? <laughs> but with him, we can make it through. Now, Lisa alluded to the fact that she had some medical issues, and um, I want you to read the book. We could tell the entire story right now, but yeah. we want we people want to, to read that. the book. But let's that. just say that Lisa is here by the miraculous hand of God. Um, what she encountered, it is incredible that she is living and breathing today. God obviously had a plan for her life, just like he has a plan for your life as well, as she's continued to uh, build the business, grow her marriage, uh, take care of your grandchildren, all kinds yes. of great things. But we also can't forget about the fact that she has a history in journalism. Perhaps those of you who are familiar with IDW don't realize that you started out in newspaper, magazine, and of course you were right here on TV44 for several years as well. So it's no secret, as soon as I started reading this, I'm like, oh, oh yes, <laughs> she can write. <laughs> well, I've been writing since I was 10. I always loved writing. I have reams of journals at home of, that I wrote when I was younger and even little stories and stuff that I'm now starting to share with my granddaughters. And so I've and always had grandson. this passion. And we don't yeah, want to forget him. Yeah, and my grandson. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, I'm sorry. He's sorry. really little. He's, he's little. Just, he's really yeah, little I'm yet. getting used to it yet. He's, he's <laughs> just almost four months. But, you know, so it's exciting to be able to get back into this. I guess, you know, we've gone through all of these years and most of my writing in recent years has been marketing kind of things. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to get back to my roots, which is writing stories. I, I'm, I'm more of a storyteller than anything else. I don't have great words of wisdom, but I have lots of experience mm -hmm. in life that um, I think can help people. And that's really where my passion, my heart is, is, is to help people. Why were you excited about being a part of this Illuminate project um, organized by Michelle Prince, one of 12 authors here who are all having a chance to share their illuminating wisdom in this book? I think it's because um, well, one, it was an opportunity for me to get my feet wet in writing and share something. But I like the whole premise. It's talking about letting your light shine. And we all have the opportunity to let our light shine um, with other people. Um, I feel like people tend to think they have to be a great writer or um, have these high expectations of themselves that they can't quite accomplish. I just think we all need to be sharing your story. Mm. Whether it's sitting down like this and talking with a friend and saying, hey, I went through this one time and sharing that over a cup of coffee or maybe doing some video clips that you're gonna show your grandkids someday. Mm. As I get older, I realize that we need to impart into other people what we have learned. We're not the experts, but we have gone through it. And that's what I really wanted to do through this book and be a part of all of these other authors in here that are sharing a glimpse of their lives um, from now they've started nonprofit organizations. Some of them are business coaches. Some of them are business leaders or business owners, but they're all sharing a part of their lives. And the common theme is they've all gone through stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't just happen. Here. And they're still here they're still and they're going. thriving <laughs> and they're sharing their story. Yes, we have all gone through stuff, but with God, we can get through that stuff. Wouldn't it be nice if God just got rid of the stuff? Yeah, it wouldn't that be awesome? Work that way. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. I think we all would. <laughs> but you know what? Then that's how we learn and that's how we grow. Mm -hmm. um, I think the biggest opportunity that you have and I have is that the things that we do go through, when we can let a peek into our lives from other people, they can see into our lives and they can say, well, if they made it, and if they've put their faith in Christ and they're taking risks and they're fighting through, I can do the same. And that's really what we want to do. Absolutely. All right. So how can people purchase this book? Well, our uh, business, IDW Window and Roof Cleaning, has a website, IDoWindowsLLC.com. Um, if you, there'll probably be a link on the screen. Mm -hmm. You can click yep. that. It's IDoWindowsLLC.com slash illuminate. And there's a landing page that comes up and you can... Uh, read a little bit more about the book and you can order it there. It's also on Amazon and a whole lot of other things online. But, um, you know, either way, they can get the book. All right. The book is called Illuminate. This is volume two. So make sure you look for volume two. The subtitle is Difference Makers Shining Through Their Stories. The author listed is Michelle Prince, but Lisa Crayler, you don't want to miss chapter eight, chapter eight. 
that's where you're going to hear Lisa's story. So we encourage you to go to IDoWindowsLLC.com forward slash illuminate. Purchase your copy of this book 